fall, and I'm sorry about that cancelled train. Now, housing has been all the rage. It's a huge debate in this country in both of the parties. Charlie Lambden, housing market specialist, joins me. Charlie, Labour, I mean, both parties want to build 300,000 houses a year, and yet we're only going to build 160,000 this year. All sorts of planning problems, uh, some of them to do with old European rules. But the big sell today from Keir Starmer was the concept of new towns built in sort of Edwardian-style Terraces. How does that sound to you? Well, I think when we, when we were last together on Talking Pints, Nigel, you asked me yeah. what I would do, and I said I'd have a, if I was in government, I'd have a huge house building campaign. So hopefully they were listening and paying attention when, when they yes. watched us. So uh, listen, I was really interested in this speech. I couldn't see any policy differences between the Tories and the Labour. I, I just couldn't see any. <laughs> All I could hear was. Keir saying, we can deliver. They can't, but we can. But it's the same. we're both trying to work on the same thing. But vote me in because I can deliver. That was a little bit like my chat with Harry Burns yes. a moment ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I couldn't see any clear difference. He's talking about long-term business investment. He's talking, and, and that whole speech was preparing us for, I think, a cheap nuclear energy-based future. He talked about uh, steel. He talked about ports. He talked about nuclear scientists. He talked about energy he talked about training people up in polytechnics bringing polytechnics back because anyone under 45 won't remember that polytechnics used to be a, a regular thing um and he talked about 10 years a decade of hard grind and then everything will be okay mm. and i found myself thinking from the housing point of view right now there are a lot of people who think we're in a housing emergency a housing crisis there are people who can't pay their mortgage people who can't pay their rent homelessness is spiking and i didn't hear anything in that speech okay. To help anyone who's wondering what they're going to do for the, for the next no, five years. Course, the other point to make, uh, this is very important, Charlie, is it's all well and good. Even if you build 300,000 new dwellings, if net migration is running at 600,000 a year, and the population is exploding, then actually you're not, you're not even keeping up no. with well, demand for one year coming in. Let so, alone. so this is true, but I think the effects of it are highly localized. There are areas that are very, very badly yes. hit by that, and there are areas that are untouched by that. Yeah. And, and so I think that. It, that is it. all of this housing housing is an individual person choosing where they want to live and and the location is absolutely essential which is why planning the, the, the Tories so far have been unable to 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 set fire to the planning roadblock that we've got can labor do it i don't know if you were in charge and said right we need at least 300,000 houses a year for the next i mean it, it's more than that where would you build them how would you build them I would go to the cities who are most in need, the ones that have got the, the most chronic shortage, and I would suspend planning regulations, mm -hmm. but I would ask developers to submit their proposal for them. And as long as it met the most essential requirements, they would get rubber stamped. So I would want to accelerate a, 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 a very, very rapid rollout of affordable housing in the places where it's needed most for people to work, so especially for people who work on the front line of the services like you know, NHS workers, fire police, those kind of stuff. Because there's, an, there's a short-term need, and all those people working in those services who don't have decent homes or can't afford the homes mm. they live in, is going to be affecting their work. 30th suburbia was a great dream, and London just grew and grew and grew, and it gave people, you know, a nice place to live, and three bedrooms and a bathroom and garden. Uh, but actually, we have very, very low-density housing in London mm. in, in terms of height. Yeah. Don't we need to build London and the other cities up? Yes, I think that, that definitely helps. It definitely helps the cities. Um, and, and, it, and it also alleviates the space problem, on the, the lateral space yeah, problem, yeah, yeah. if you build up. But um, I think you know, he And where do we plant these new towns? Well, that's a very interesting <laughs> question. I have no idea how you go about choosing where they want to live, because you'd then have to sell that town, wouldn't you, to people? Come and live in this empty town. I know, I know, I know. it's not easy. Charlie, come back and talk to us again. Housing is an issue that will not go away. Thank you. A